And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DGS2. We are getting very close to the end of this case now, and uh, we'll definitely just let this play and get this get this over with this time. I'm very sorry about that last video, but I thought I thought I would get there quickly enough to finish this, where like we can go a little bit, like maybe 10 minutes over. But it was gonna go over like 15, 20 minutes, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop. So uh, now we gotta prove it. We're gonna prove it by presenting the Regent. Can I? What? What sort of substance is this? It's a Regent that allows one to test for the poison in question. Ah! It's a new type of alkaloid developed by us, you see. There is no other way to test for it except for using this Regent. So in other words, the opposite is also true. All you need is this region to test for the poison. Uh, region? We'll dip the nib of your fountain pen into this region. And then we'll have the last piece of the puzzle in this case. Uh, uh, uh. I, I won't allow it. If you're going to be evil, at least know when you're beaten. Your Honor! Defense requests an immediate test to be done! Uh, uh, uh. Oh boy! <laughs> oh! Alas, this is my father's country, Gregory Prince, I was alive next to my defense, but when it's looking to me, I will like I'm like a sword, I found the mouth, and there was a beast, and I'm dead, it was over the same, the chest, and I did this, yes, it was over the same, the chest, and I Here we go, Sasato-chan. Right. Top. Huh? <laughs> oh, this is still the best. And that was the Mikotaba-style Susato toss, right? No, this was a real Taro Toss. The moment we dipped the pen nib into the Regent, the transformation was so clear that anyone could have seen it. Oh, <laughs> this poor guy! When I laid eyes on the poison that day, it really was just a sudden impulse. It was like being possessed by a demon. I pretended to go to the laboratory, where I dumped out my ink and rinsed the suction device. The... when you saw your... then, when you saw your chance, you used your fountain pen to suck up some poison. Yes, that's right. Allow me to ask one question, Mr. Imame Mome. What possessed you to steal that poison? I would think it obvious to find out the ingredients and write an article on it. A powerful drug being developed in secrecy? As a journalist, how could I not pass it up? lady have to die! I went to that shack to question her as a journalist. She seemed completely at ease with the fact that she'd killed someone. I couldn't just let her run off back to her homeland. And that's when that she-dog scoffed at me! What's this? An oriental monkey playing at journalism. You can't even tell the difference between spying and journalism. Low life scum. What? What did you call me? Whether it's the law or journalism, everything this country does is just monkey see, monkey do. You're completely incapable. After all, you foolish, 
pitiful creatures. Scurry on off back to your tree. That's an order, monkey. <laughs> That's when I remembered. The poison I'd snuck out of my fountain pen. What a turn of events. I have to get out of here as quickly as possible. That's what was going through my head. But... In the end, I wasn't able to see the deed through to the end. Maybe it's just my pathetic journalist nature. See, I can't be super mad at him. Because, you know, I, I understand his sentiment. It's wrong! It's completely wrong, but... You know, I just... I'm, he's not an evil person per se in the sense that he wants to murder everybody or that kind of thing. It was just more or less the case of... He was just, his pride was hurt, and <laughs> it was just a series of unfortunate events. It's still wrong, though. May I ask just one thing? What? You said this was about justice. But as a reporter, you should have had another method of seeking justice available to you. There's no justice in journalism. Eh? Nine months ago, after the trial, I did a thorough investigation. And I finally found out. The suppressed truth lurking in the shadow of that murder! Su suppressed What do you mean? Witness, consider where you are. Have some discretion. But think about it, it doesn't make sense! Our country can't convict a criminal because she's foreign? Counselor jurisdiction was supposed to have expired! And yet, that Englishwoman was being allowed to leave the country! The only thing that makes sense is that England and Japan have some sort of secret exchange! Exchange. And I tried to print all my findings. But the higher ups crumpled up the article I'd written! They must have been pressured by the government. If the law turns a blind eye to evil, and even the truth in journalism is suppressed. Then I, Mamma Mommy, had to take justice in my own hands! You mustn't forget, Mommy Mommy Sama, that you committed murder and attempted to pin it on the defendant. You're no different from Giselle Brett. Ooh. Ah! You're not qualified to talk about justice! Mm. Savage. Uh... He's so depressed. I mean, she got him though. It seems that this trial has arrived at a final conclusion at last. Uh, defense, not a hold of Rio Taro. Uh, that's. Me, I mean, she, or he, rather. You've provided an outstanding defense. It's hard to believe that this is your first trial. How shall I put this? You remind me of your cousin. Oh, you mean Narahodo Ryanosuke. Looking at you now, it's almost like I'm looking at the young man from nine months ago. The premonition that the age of the modern court system would dawn on this nation. Thank you very much for your kind compliment. I realized something keenly today while listening to your defense. 
and it will likely be all of you who carve out the legal future for the great Japanese Empire. Thank you, Your Honor. Do you have anything to add, Prosecutor Ouchie? Uh, oh. Prosecutor Ouchie-sama? I've lost to some wet behind the ear student not once, but twice! Yes, today has truly marked the end of the Edo period for me. Sounds as though you took your time entering the age of the Meiji Restoration again. Shut your mouth! Rather than continue the shame of living a long and unsightly life. Uh! What I need is a gallant death, here and now. And that is the Takasuchi philosophy that I've discovered! Takasuchi philosophy? It seems that this case has a was a bad influence on him. Uh, ouchie? No, why would you play this? When the strands are sliced, they scatter in the wind. Even hope must bid farewell. Must be bid farewell to someday. Takasuchi. <laughs> He's gonna cut that little hair, isn't he? He is! Oh my god! <laughs> Poor Ouchie. Damn this song! Oh my god! In prayer for Ouchie's hope, let us pray for his hope. Rest in peace, Ouchie's hope. <laughs> ah, bless! This game is the best. We had two breakdowns. <laughs> Now then, defend it, Lorasami Hauri. Yes, Your Honor. I shall now hand down your final verdict. Not guilty. Cherry blossoms, which is a lot safer than sh shooting fireworks in here. Just, just, just saying, London, Britain, just, you know. I have less fire issues if you didn't use fireworks inside a building. This concludes today's trial. Get it! Oh, it feels weird to have such a short case. <laughs> what is this, only seven videos or something? Uh, it's the same day, 2.38 p.m., the Supreme Court, Defendant's Lobby Number 3. Oh, it's over. My heart is still pounding. It's taking everything I've got just to stay standing. So this is the weight of the duty that a defense attorney must bear. Not a Hodosama. Oh. Susano-chan. Thank you. You were so cool. Hare-sama, and father. I've never been so deeply moved. I thought I was going to cry at the end there. I mean, you're kind of crying right now. I managed to hold off somehow, but I was about to cry at the end too. I'm here now, and it's all thanks to you, Susaro-chan. All oh, that face. Uh, oh no, it's thanks to you for telling me the truth. I'm... So grateful for that. Geez, Susaro-chan, you're hopeless. Huh? The two of us are the same age, after all. Quit being so formal. You should go with your gut more. Uh, with my gut? I'm defense attorney Naruhodo Rutaro, and I'm going to sweep you off to the snack shop. Like that. Thanks, Haori-sama. I'll consider it. 
Anyway, it felt amazing teaming up with you for a toss. Yes, it was refreshing for me as well. I feel like we ought to toss something else while we're at it. Can we not toss Mikotoba's dad? <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Morasami-kun. Ah, uh, no, I wasn't. No, inconceivable. Harisama's finally smiling again. You fought valiantly to the very end. As your father, I'm very proud of you, Attorney Narahodo Ryotaro kun Thank you very much. I owe it all to you, father. Attorney Narahodo Ryotaro, this is where we say farewell. I feel a bit of reluctance, but... I shall return to be Mikatoba Susado. <sighs> Susado-chan, I'm kind of disappointed now. Of course you would. What? W -w -w what did you mean? W -w -w -y? Oh, Soseki-sama, Detective Hosunaga-sama, long time no see. It can't be. Y you're... Yes. Circum circumstances require me to change my appearance. But I'm Mikatoba Susato. Uh, oh. <coughs> how handsome you are. And how sublime? No, more like... Incredibly handsome! No, your appearance is incredibly sublime! To think that Miss Suzato's true identity was Mr. Narahodo's cousin! Uh... It's Earth Shattering! This somewhat misguided gentleman is Natsume Soseki-sama. The first time I met him in London, Soseki-sama was in a holding cell. An exchange student from Japan, who found himself wrapped up in a strange incident. Thanks to Narahodo-sama's amazing defense, Soseki-sama was declared innocent and returned to Japan. And now he's a well-known author. Wow. What an outstanding disguise! I, Hosunaga, <laughs> Imperial Police Detective, was completely... <laughs> fooled. I'm not sure how to feel about that, but with you being a detective... Goodness, you're so skilled at disguising yourself, it's actually a bit ominous. I regret to inform you that this will be my last time disguising myself. I can't compare to your disguise abilities, Detective. I don't think anyone can. Well, this is my profession, after all. This detective with a somewhat concerning appearance is Hosunaga sama He testified before the Supreme Court in the case nine months ago as well. He was doing an undercover investigation as the head waiter at the Western Restaurant. After that, he went undercover on the steamship in order to be our bodyguard, but... No! Don't do that! In spite of that, Hazuma-sama was... But as a detective, I'm filled with complicated emotions. In the end, the truth remained hidden. I don't know, that reporter seemed to know something! What do you mean? The truth about the murder the English lady committed nine months ago. Ah, yes, I heard about the English medical doctor who was killed. Dr. John H. Watson. I was the one who invited him here from England. Why on earth did she kill Dr. Watson? Now that she herself has been murdered, we'll never know. While we were traveling in the Great British Empire, we had a miraculous encounter with Sherlock Holmes-sama. 
for a detective whose name is known worldwide. Sherlock Holmes. I certainly won't be forgetting him anytime soon. Personally, I consider him a mortal enemy more than anything else. According to the adventures of Sherlock Holmes novels, a famous detective had a close friend who he considered a partner. Outstanding medical doctor by the name of John H. Watson. What? Watson? This can't be a mere coincidence. The doctor from the Great Bears Empire who was murdered nine months ago was the partner of Sherlock Holmes-sama, wasn't he? If that's the case... That girl will never see her father again. As you're aware, I once studied abroad in the Great British Empire myself, around the time that you were born. I know. Grandmother told me. Upon my return to Japan, I became a professor of forensic medicine at Yumei Imperial University. But, I occasionally worked with the government for the purpose of diplomatic relations with the Great British Empire. I was aware of that fact as well. Then, perhaps you can understand the fact that I have secrets that I can't tell you. Please, just tell me one thing. Why did you summon me back to Japan? I returned to Japan from the Great British Empire two months ago because I received sudden news from Japan via international telegram. News that you collapsed from a high fever whose cause was unknown and were growing weaker by the day. What? What's that supposed to... But upon my return, I found that you were in perfect health. I am forced to conclude that there was some reason you didn't want me to remain in England. That's my daughter for you. That's quite a salty gaze you're directing at me. But, in regards to that... Mm, get your hands off me! Mame-mome? <sighs> Mame-mome-sama! Seems like someone wants another toss. Before they lock me up, there's just one thing I want to say. Professor! To... me? I know all about it. You're involved in something else. That incident with the exchange students. By exchange student, do you mean Giselle Brett? Not her! The legal exchange student that departed from the Great Japanese Empire eight months ago! What? Legal exchange student? You can't mean... Kazuma-sama! What are you talking about? What about Kazuma-sama? No one in this country knows about it! The fact that that exchange student lost his life on the steamship before he could reach England! And that he'll never... That judge <laughs> I never expected you to try to escape to a place like this. D -d judge what are you doing, bailiffs? The judge is outside of the courtroom! I don't think we've had this since... Uh... I, I don't... Did investigation have this? I don't remember. Did it have this? Did you leave the courtroom? I know for sure, and at least... Professor Layton Professor versus Ace Attorney, we did have a judge out. Anyway, sir, I am deeply apo- I'm deeply sorry. What?! Of course he flips him right when we get to the good stuff. I'm glad I just happened to come pick you up. The rickshaw is waiting, Mikatoba. Ah, right, thank you. Let's head out right away. Your Honor! <laughs> the trial's over. Now I'm just another friend of your father's. 
My name is Jigoku Seshiro. That's quite a name. You've become even more lovely than the last time I saw you. Or perhaps I should say more handsome. Mikotoba susato kun <laughs> Don't tell me you knew all along. <laughs> Judges know all, susato kun It would have been bad news if you'd been figured out at the start of the trial, after all. But I decided to have a chat with him beforehand, as an old friend. Now then, Shikoku, shall we be off? Right, after the development of today's trial, we'll need to figure out how to work around this. Father! Sorry, but we'll have to continue our earlier conversation some other time. You two work so hard today. I'm happy for you from the depths of my heart. Thank you very much, Your Honor. My Jijoku, my Jigoku toss wasn't half bad either, eh? <laughs> Oh my god! That was amazing! Father, what on earth are you hiding? About Giselle Brett? About Dr. Watson? Then what Mommy Mommy sama started to say earlier? About Kazuma sama? It looks like I'll have to hear what he has to say. Without Father knowing, uh, legal aid, Mikotoba. May I have a moment? Yes. What is it, Soseki-sama? Perhaps it's fate that I ran into you here. Actually, I... have something I need to tell you. Hmm? It might... Have something to do with the reason your father summoned you back to Japan. The reason he called me back. So, Seki sama, please tell me. Yes, ma'am! The two years I spent studying abroad were, in a word, brutal. I was wrapped up in those bizarre incidents and saved by substitute exchange student Naru Hodo. The moment I was free, I wandered aboard a ship and hurried home to Japan. With the same haste, I delivered my international study report to the Japanese government. Then, the next day, a guest arrived at my home. It was Professor Mikotoba. He said he wanted to hear my report in more detail. My father. Professor Miko Toba seemed very interested in a certain part of my report. He questioned this poor man you see before you most thoroughly, then left. It was the next day that he had that international telegram sent to you. So, what on earth was it? Which part was my father so interested in? I don't know the details, but... Surely you remember, correct? The second murder I was accused of? Yes, of course. How could I possibly forget? It was that second murder that the professor was interested in! Second, but as I recall, Homesama strictly forbid that one to be publicized. So the only one that was made public should have been the first case. I'm under no obligation to obey any orders from that detective. Anyway, thinking back on it now. I can't help feeling like that case must hold the key to everything! That second painful incident, the incident with the boarding house specter... The case- oh no, what is that? <laughs> Excuse me. The case that caused my father to summon me back to Japan. 
seems that, somehow, without me knowing about it, this tale, this tale has begun again. こうしてかの英国留学生の事件は決着がついたのでございます大使院に立ってほんの少し分かったような気がいたしましたナルホドウ様が異国の法廷で何に立ち向かっているのかを。今日はもう一つお知らせしたいことがあって筆を取りました夏目漱石様がおっしゃった二つ目の事件父は何も語りませんがあの事件にはどうやら大きな謎を解く重要な鍵が眠っているようでございますあの事件の記録はお部屋の棚の左隅に残しておきましたよろしければ振り返ってみてはいかがでしょうか日本はいよいよ夏の盛り今日も抜けるような青空でございますなるほど様もう一度お会いしたく存じますすさと